Good morning children. Today we will be starting a new lesson in our English literature. Okay. It is why wisdom is everywhere and it is on page 30 of your books. Please open your book and get ready. Okay. So this story, Why Wisdom is Everywhere, is from Africa. This story is from the Asante people of Ghana in Africa. And the central character in this story is a spider called Anansi. Okay, now let's start. Anansi is an African folktale character which often takes the shape of a spider and is considered to be the spirit of all knowledge of stories. So this Anansi the spider is considered to be the origin of all stories. These tales are some of the best known amongst the Asante people of Ghana. Now read on. Now let's begin. Once upon a time, the sky god named Nayame gave Anansi the spider an unusual gift. It was a pot which had in it all the wisdom of the world. So what was the gift? The gift was a huge pot which had all the wisdom of the world in it. Nayame also instructed Anansi to share the gift of wisdom with everyone in the world. The pot was filled with amazing skills and ideas. Anansi looked into the pot and learned something new every day. So the pot was filled with amazing skills and ideas and Anansi he looked into the pot every day and learned something new. But he was extremely selfish and greedy by nature and hated sharing anything with anyone. So I hope you are not like Anansi, hating to share anything with anyone. So he was extremely selfish. He thought, I want to keep all the wisdom in the pot just for me. I will hide it somewhere and not share it with anyone. So what did Anansi think? He thought that he would hide the pot and not share it with anyone. One day, Anansi was looking for a place where he could hide his pot of wisdom. Finally, he decided to hide it at the topmost branch of a very tall tree. He made a strong rope using the vines from the tree. Now if you've noticed something children like some trees they have long long strong rope like structures coming out of them. Especially if you watch the movie Tarzan you know he swings on those ropes. Okay. So, from the vines of the tree, he made a very strong rope. He then used the rope to tie the pot with his body. Anansi placed the pot in front of his stomach and tied it firmly using the rope. So, he tied the pot to the front of his stomach using the rope which he had made from the vines of the tree. Now, just imagine a huge spider with a huge pot in front of his stomach, okay, and he's climbing up the tree. He started climbing the tree very slowly, but was facing a lot of difficulty. The pot was hanging against his stomach and kept bumping against the tree, hurting him in the process. The young son of Anansi was watching him from the bottom of the tree. After a while, his son suggested. Now this young son, he looked at his father climbing slowly up the tree with a huge pot in front of him. 
And he told his father, Father, why don't you tie the pot at your back? That way it will not bump against the tree and it will be easier and more comfortable for you to climb up the tree by holding it with your hands. So he told his father, why don't you tie the pot at your back and then your hands will be free so that you can hold the tree and climb it up more comfortably. So Anansi thought about it and he followed his son's suggestion and found out that it was indeed easier to climb the tree this way. Within no time, he reached the top of the tree. But Anansi was extremely angry. He was very angry. Why? What is the use of owning the pot of wisdom? When even a young boy has more common sense than I do. Anansi thought and dropped the pot of wisdom from the top of the tree. So what happened? The pot fell to the ground and broke into pieces. The gift of wisdom stored inside the pot started flying in different directions. So when Anansi dropped the pot, the pot broke into pieces. And what was there inside the pot? Wisdom. So different pieces of wisdom started flying out of the pot and scattered in different directions. People of the world found the bits and pieces of wisdom scattered everywhere. And they started picking up some for their friends and families. So they picked up bits and pieces of wisdom, some for themselves, some for their friends and some for their families. Thus, until this day, no one person has all the wisdom in the world. So you will not find one person who is the wisest, okay, who knows everything about everything. So you have to share your wisdom with each other. And all over the world, people share wisdom by exchanging ideas with one another. So the reason for why there is not one person who is the wisest in the world is because Anansi threw the pot from the top of the tree and all the wisdom got scattered here and there. Okay, now children, please read the chapter. I hope you like the story and in the next lesson we will do some more. Thank you.